and Sarah and Jar, Darkling Beetle. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to draw with markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom, like a pencil. You also need some paper and something to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We're using marker paper to draw on. That's because we're using markers to draw and color with. Let's start by drawing the head. We're going to start up here at the top of our paper and we're going to draw an oval shape. I'm going to draw it, or we're going to kind of draw it big. I'm going to draw it about this size. Yes. And then we're going to draw, I love that yours is a little <laughs> smaller than mine. That's okay, right? Yeah. The most important thing is? To have fun. And to practice. Practice. It's okay if your drawings look different too. All right, let's keep going. Let's draw an eye over here on the left and also over here on the right. We can also add the antenna. I'm going to draw a curve that comes up like this and a curve that comes out to match. And let's also make the antenna thicker. I'm going to draw another line next to it and we can connect it at the top. And let's do the same thing for the right side. Now let's draw the thorax. We're going to draw, that's the next part of the body. We're going to draw a curve right below the head. And then we're going to draw a curve that comes down to the left. And look, the when you get down here, it comes straight down. So we curve out and then straight down. Yeah. And then we're going to connect. These can come down. You could even start out here a little wider if you want and then come down and let's, whoops, I got to be two spots, two dots, and we're going to make it a little bit taller on each side. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Now at the bottom, let's draw a straight line to connect those together. And then let's draw the little connecting part. I'm going to draw a little curve that comes out, across, and then back in. Yeah. And then we're going to draw two little curves that come out to the edge of the thorax on both sides. Okay, now let's draw two straight lines. We're going to come down. This is for the abdomen. This is the last segment or last portion of the body. We're going to draw two lines that come straight down. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to connect. We're going to curve down to the middle and then back up to connect to the other side. And we can also add a small little V right here. We're going to draw a separation between the wings or the shell that's protecting the wings. Then we're going to draw a line that comes down like this. And I think that might be called the elytra or elytra. Yeah, just like on Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's our insect missing? Arms and legs. Yeah, let's draw them. Uh, let's first draw little segments. So we're going to draw a sideways U that comes out of the thorax. And we can match that same shape on the other side. And then let's draw the next segment for our leg. We're going to draw a curve that comes up to the left. And then we're going to come out just a little, and then we're going to come back in to the first segment. Then we can draw little segments. I'm going to draw three little segments that come out. And then we're going to draw the little toes or the hooks that our darkling beetle can grab onto things with. And then right in the middle, I'm going to connect them. Let's repeat that same step over here for the other leg. We'll draw a curve coming out to the side. And then we'll come out just a little bit and then connect back in. We're repeating all of the same steps because it's symmetrical, which means the same on both sides. So if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. So I drew the three little segments. Then we draw the U shape for the claws and then a line in the middle to connect. Now let's repeat the same steps for the next set of legs. This time we're going to come down here and draw the first segment. This time let's draw the leg coming down. Then we'll draw a short curve coming out and then connect back to the first segment. 
Then let's draw those little segments connected to come out further. And the little U shape at the end. Oh, I love that you're drawing the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna do that too. Oh, first I need to come back here and connect the U. So we drew the first segment, then we draw the leg coming down, out, and then connect back up. The little segments coming out, the letter U for the little claws, and connect. We did it! Yeah. There's two more legs. Now that part we went really fast. So remember you can rewind or even pause the video for extra time. Okay, now let's draw the last set of legs so that our insect has a total of how many legs? Six. Six, yeah, good job. And we're gonna draw this leg coming down further. We can draw it short, in, and then back up. And we'll draw the little segments coming out, and then the foot or the toes on the end. I'm gonna draw that same little U-shape sticking out, the segment coming down, back up, the little segments for the feet, and the toes and connect. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our darkling beetle. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Before we fast forward, let's talk to our art friends about what colors we're using. We're using our Art for Kids Hub markers. We have CG7, this is a really dark gray, and CG9, which is even darker, almost a black color. And then we're using the number two red color. For the for, little tint. Yes, for the tint on the legs. The legs sometimes have a red or a brown color to them, especially in bright sunlight. The first thing we're doing is coloring our beetles solid gray with the CG7 and except for the legs and that part will fast forward so remember to pause the video and take time to color in your beetles. The beetles are black but instead of coloring them solid black so it just looks like a silhouette we're using the gray to add dimension and also texture to our beetles to make them look a little more realistic. So let's fast forward and then we can talk more about the next step. Our beetle is colored solid. Now we're ready to add some texture and details. We're gonna use our CG9, our dark gray, and let's add, right here we're gonna draw a little shadow or color the segment in between the thorax and the abdomen. Now let's add texture down the abdomen. We're gonna start right here and I'm gonna draw a line that comes down that matches a curve that matches the outside shape. And I'm gonna draw another one that curves down and as we get further towards the center, I'm drawing it straighter and straighter until I get to the very center. Then I'm gonna repeat that same step over here on the right side, but going the other direction. So we'll come down like this, and we'll get straighter, straighter until we get to the very center of our bug, our insect. It's already starting to look more realistic now that we have texture, yeah. these lines on the body. Then we can add little shadows. I'm gonna add a shadow on the side to make it look a little more 3D on each side. And we can also add little texture bumps on the thorax. I'm also gonna add a shadow on the head and maybe even a texture line that comes across in between the eyes. Oh, I'm gonna also add a thicker line that comes down the abdomen on each side just to add a little shadow and make it look more 3D. I'm also gonna add a little shadow on the legs right here on each segment, but I'm not gonna color the whole leg we want to leave some of that red or dark brown showing through. Oh, we can also add texture to the antennas. Look, little segments on the antenna. We're almost done, Austin. Let's add one more thing to make our drawing look even more realistic. We're going to use CG1. This is a really light gray. And this is to add a cast shadow uh, underneath the beetle to make it look like it's standing on top of our paper. First, let's add a little shadow on the side of the head, on both sides. 
So you can add a little shadow down here in between the segments. And I'm gonna add a really thin shadow, watch this, thin shadow on the side of the body, coming down, but down at the bottom, I'm gonna get thicker underneath the abdomen. So I'm gonna repeat that same step over here on the right side, draw it really thin on the side, and then super thick down at the bottom. Then let's add shadows to the legs and also the antenna. We'll start up here. I'm gonna draw the shadow a little ways away from the antenna to make it look like there's space between the antenna and the paper. There you go. Then we can start down here on this foot and we're gonna start right at the foot and it's gonna to touch. But watch this, we're gonna get further away that makes it look like the foot is sitting on the paper, but then the leg is away from the paper. So then I followed it up just to match the shape of the leg. We'll do the same thing over here. We'll draw this part coming out like this and then connect up to the rest of the shadow. Now let's add shadows to the next set of legs. We'll start here at the foot, come this way, and then we're gonna follow the shape of the leg going up. We'll do the same thing on this side, and follow it going up. Yeah. Oh, it's looking super realistic, Austin. Good yeah. job. We have one more set of shadows. I'm gonna draw it coming this way this time. We'll come down. And then I'm gonna draw it curving this way and then connect into the body. And then the same thing over here, we'll draw it connecting to the foot and then we'll curve down into the body. Also that looks really cool with the shadow. It looks super 3D. Let's add another trick to our drawing. We're gonna use our white colored pencil to add a highlight to make our darkling beetle a little more shiny. So I'm gonna add a little highlight right here on the head, maybe even a small little highlight on each eye. And then we can add a highlight right here on the body, on the thorax. I'm gonna go around some of the texture bumps, but I'm gonna add this larger highlight. Oh, that looks really cool. Good job, Austin. And then let's add texture highlights on the abdomen. And I'm gonna go in between each of those lines that we already drew with the darker gray. So I'm gonna start, press really hard up at the top and then lighter towards the bottom. And then maybe even a couple little highlights over here on the other side of the body too. Awesome, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our darkling beetles, and your drawing turned out perfect. It looks super realistic. Did you have fun? Yeah. I love the shadow, and I also love the highlight, but you can leave both of those things off to keep the lesson a little easier. I really like the highlight. It makes the beetle look shiny. Yeah, it does. And I also love the shadow. It looks like it's standing right on top of our paper. But remember, you don't have to use the same art supplies that we use. You can use crayons or even colored pencils or even different markers. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a darkling beetle. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.